Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Gundidi channel. This week I got something different for you. Everyone's seen the red dots on micro pistols before, and uh, you know that it is an expensive game to get into. Well, uh, Ruger has kind of changed up the game with that by uh, offering what they call the ready dot. Now this is a micro red dot in the RMR footprint. Uh, well, not RMR, sorry, uh, Shield RMS footprint. Uh, it, what's unique about it is it's all polymer and it doesn't use a battery. What it uses is fiber optics. So the negative side is you can't use it in low light, uh, but in the positive is you don't need a battery. There is a flaw in this though. This is designed for the Max 9 pistol. I have it on a Shield Plus. So we're gonna see what it does. I will say, if you're mounting one of these to your Shield Plus, uh, the screws that come with the red dot do not fit on the Shield Plus. You do have to order screws. Uh, I got mine from a company called Tack Rig. I'll go ahead and uh, pin it in the comments or in the description there. So that way you guys can uh, also order them if you have a Shield Plus. I did have to order the screws separately. And when I mounted it, it mounted pretty well. I will say that I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you on camera, but the red dot is actually placing about about uh, two or three inches low, uh, just right out of the box. When I line up my sights, the red dot is off the screen, down below the screen. When I uh, put the red dot where it's supposed to be, my front sight is resting on top of my rear sights. So we're gonna see how that affects point of aim here in just a moment but i really wanted to test this guy out and see maybe it, it uh self levels because they said it's a uh, self-zeroing system so we'll see if that works and then uh if it doesn't then at least you guys know uh maybe you should spend just a little bit more money for a different red dot if you're putting it on something other than a max 9. but i will say what's really neat is it is low profile so i can uh, co-witness with my standard sights. I don't have to put aftermarket uh, suppressor height sights on this guy just to co-witness. So that's a plus. But uh, let's go ahead and put some rounds on target and uh, see if it's worth the hype. Alright, so first shot I'm going to go ahead and use my iron sights just to make sure that I'm zeroed. Alright. So with my iron sights, I was a little high. Uh, let's try it with the red dot now. Fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time. Okay, so with the red dot, I'm having to aim all the way at the lower end of my silhouette to actually hit anything. So it, the red dot is a little... Uh, uh, a little low so I'm having to aim really low to actually hit which is not a terrible thing but if you're making a shot longer than the 10 to 15 feet I'm at that's gonna affect where your point of aim is so so let's uh let's put some more rounds on target see what happens yeah I went way over the shoulder on that one Okay, so all my shots, I'm aiming a lower center of the target and I'm hitting top, uh, we'll say right shoulder, my left side, top left. So uh, if it's a true, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if the red dot's going to zero itself. I will say it may have moved a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. Red dot's still solid, so it's not the red dot. But uh, let me put some more rounds in this guy. We'll put some more rounds on target and see what happens. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I got 10 more rounds loaded up in this thing. Sorry if the wind is crazy. It's the only day I can get out. And of course, 
wind starts blowing as soon as I get out here. Hopefully the audio is good. But uh, we put the 10 rounds on the target. A couple of them missed over the uh, right hand shoulder. We're gonna go ahead and try to hold lower left, maybe my lower right, and uh, see if we can't get closer to center target and see if it's a issue with the red dot or maybe I'm just flinching. Usually my flinch would go lower, uh, low and to the uh, right, not high and to the left. So I think it's a red dot thing, but let's see. We're gonna, uh, first I'm gonna put, go just my iron sights. Oop, and that one was. Okay, so it might be, it might be me. I'm not sure. Let's go, uh, let's hold lower left, or in this case, lower right. This crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood My tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit So sharp, so freezing So cold, behold Frostbite, they feeling I can tell Okay, so that one was pretty close to the start Don't believe in fate Don't go believe in off feelings I just need a the target. There we go So, okay, so it is Hitting high Until the left change. I just love the feeling no. Oh So could be me, could be the gun. I'll definitely put some other people on this gun and see if it, they're seeing the same issues or if, you know, it might be my flinch. I'm not sure, but uh, we're hitting, uh, in order to hit close to center, I had to hold pretty far uh, off the target and to the bottom, well, in this case, right hand side. Uh, but on the target, it would be the left-hand side. But uh, yeah, to the right here uh, and low. So it is hitting high and to the left a little bit. So it could be a flinch, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's the red dot. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some other people on this uh, down the road and see if that's an issue. And I'll update you guys if it's the red dot or if it's me. But Definitely something neat to check out, especially if you have a Ruger Max 9. If you don't have a Ruger Max 9, maybe swing for the uh, primary arms optic instead. But uh, if you have a Ruger Max 9, this is probably perfect for that. Uh, for the Shield Plus, I'm gonna have some other people test fire it if they don't like it. Uh, I'm probably gonna drop this off of it and put a uh, primary arms uh, micro red dot on there. But yeah, definitely something neat to check out. It's only a hundred bucks, so you can't complain for a hundred bucks. Uh, it, it's just a neat concept, and if it if they can figure out the zeroing issue on other guns, this would actually be a really good option uh, for a red dot down the line. But for now, really good for the Ruger Max 9, maybe not so much for the Shield Plus. If you guys like this video, go ahead and comment in the comment section, would you buy this red dot? Uh, if not, uh, let me know why you wouldn't buy this red dot. And uh, hit a like on this video and share with as many people as you can. We wanna to try to grow this channel so we can review some uh, better optics than $100 optics and maybe some really cool steel. So share this video, comment and like, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. I got a god complex. Hey, this up the hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm facing this test all. Oh. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. They call me a